Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. I'm here again with Rand from Colorlock. Absolutely. And we're going to show you in this video how to take worn, battered leather. This is leather that's done 150,000 miles. And we're going to show you step by step how to refinish and recolor that leather to make it look absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So, recolouring battered leather, six simple steps, and Ram is going to go through them right now. Fantastic. Right, so, uh, step one um, is um, cleaning the seats. So, um, for this one here, we used a mild leather cleaner. This wasn't particularly dirty, so just mild leather cleaner with the colour lock brush. Just give the, um, give the whole seat a real good clean. Um, make sure you get rid of all dirt that's on the surface. That's what we're trying to... Um, do with um, the, the cleaning stage so you you know make sure you work the cleaner everywhere every area that you look at the color get that nice and clean and like we said before as well sorry we've got a vacuum as well haven't we we yeah. mentioned that always vacuum the debris away then do the cleaning the brush is your friend this is going to scrub the leather isn't it yeah it's going to work that product in there and then you wipe yeah. the product residue off and you'll see you'll see the dirt coming off of leather it's hard to tell with black leather but you will see on the cloth the grime will. coming off of you it. You will, yeah, yeah. So that's stage one. Get rid of um, um, all the dirt on the surface using cleaning. Stage two is to decrease the surface using a product called the Leather Cleaning Spirit. Um, and that is a surface degreaser. Um, gets rid of layers of uh, wax or previous care products that you've applied on the surface. You want to remove all of that. If you've not used the mild leather cleaner, if you've already got some other form of cleaner and you've used that, most cleaners tend to have, most cleaners and soaps tend to have a bit of oils in them as well. So you want to use the degreaser. That's a very, very important part of the whole process because dirt and grease will stop the color um, from adhering to the surface. So you want to make sure that you know you degrease very, very well. That's a very important part of the This is process. an important product as well, guys. This, I didn't even know about the existence of this. This is a solvent-based cleaner, essentially. So everything we've used up until now is more like a detergent, it's water-based. A lot of people were asking me about this when I did the steering wheel video, but this was the key to really getting that um, yeah. smooth feel because it's more effective at breaking down grease than a water-based degreaser, yeah. just like outside of leather when you're cleaning other stuff on cars. So there is a leather cleaning spirit product out there when you need to deep clean and degrease leather in preparation for cleaning. Yeah, so I mean, it's not a very aggressive product. It's... Um, you know, so it's not, um, uh, it's, it's obviously an alcohol based product, but what yeah. it does, it doesn't dissolve the clear coat, it doesn't dissolve the, the existing paint layer or anything. It just, all it does is just gets rid of grease that's on the surface. Right, right? Yeah. So, okay. So that's step two. So, so far it's pretty straightforward, but one thing Ram was telling me that the preparation steps, all of them are probably, if you're going to get the great results at the end, it's really important to um, take your time doing this. And if you're doing it for the first time, just simply be thorough and don't be afraid to do these cleaning steps twice. You know, if you're cleaning it, scrubbing it, go around twice if you're not sure if it's filthy dirty. Yeah, games in the prep. I mean, if you can spend, you know, a bit more time doing the prep, making sure that you've done all the basic steps, the basic steps that are crucial to getting that excellent finish that you're looking for, you know, cleaning and degreasing um, is an absolute must. Okie dokie. Right. So after the degreasing, what do we do then? Right, so certain parts of, uh, certain areas of the leather felt a bit rough, so we sanded all the... Um, all the bits down, right? Yep. That was just using our sandpaper. I think that's about, um, a, 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 I think that's about around a 500 grit. I'm not exactly sure, um, but that's- 500 some... grit, so it's quite a mild sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you were saying it's quite important. Gentle pressure, guys. You're not, you're not trying to sand off too much material. It's just a light sand, isn't it? Light sand, and especially around the stitching, you want to make sure that you don't sand too aggressively because you'll get fraying, you'll get all the stitches, you've got, all the fibers coming off. You've got, what's the word, thread here, so yeah. you don't want to sand thread. You're yeah. just preparing the surface. It's keying it as well, isn't it? Slightly. It is keying it. It is preparing it. It, it. it makes it nice and smooth as well because um, when you apply paint to any surface, it goes, it, it starts, it, it, it feels a bit rough, right? So doing this, part of the, the, the prep stages, again, um, you're, getting the, you're preparing the surface to receive that paint that you're going to put on. Um, and, you, and of course, with leather, um, one of the first things that most people do is touch it. 
Yes. Right? So when you sand, you get a nice smooth surface, it's and that's good. again and it's, all part. Sanding in small circles, is it as well? Sanding in small yeah. circles. You know, you don't want to sand too aggressively. Sand in small circles, gentle pressure, just work around it. And you only need to sand where it feels rough. If it doesn't feel rough, you don't have to sand. Okay. Right. Okay. Good stuff. So that's step three, guys. And after sanding, there is another step. That's... Yeah. So you sand. You're going to get some get some dust um, on the surface. So use the cleaning spirit, the degreaser that we did yeah. um, as part of step two. Just use that to just use it as a wipe down and this is your final like degrease isn't it so basically yeah. you're repeating step two to remove any loose material that you've removed as a sanding process that's it so this is your absolute final prep uh, step that so that's step four yeah. your secondary degrease I guess. secondary degrease yeah. okay um step five this is an optional step isn't it yeah so um certain bolsters can have um deep cracks um along the side of the base here as well on here as well just areas where you get in and out general wear over the years can you know you'll have like deep wide cracks and if you um if you've got those and you want to fill them then you can fill them we do a very flexible filler called the fluid leather filler which is yeah. a diy product um and, and it comes you, in black and white as well so we it use comes your... in black and white and any custom made color so if you've um if you order a custom made uh paint designed uh, to match your car interior uh, and you need some of the filler as well then then we can obviously um, get the color of the filler in the same shade as um, as, as the yeah, that, that's very important yeah. when you're coloring over that filler because it's going to mean it's much easier to uh, it's just going to blend in when you put the color over the top isn't it? yeah it just if, if you put a white filler it just you will then end up having to put five six seven layers of paint to cover all of that yeah. so a tinted filler helps just disguise it um, much better and this yeah. optional stage is kind of it's there's an element of personal preference in here leather should have crease lines in it stuff like that you know it's not a rigid solid yeah. material it's a flexible material it does have that so it's a case of what you want to take out um my personal preference was just the main things that look like big cracks of damage rather than just crease lines so this way, I'm really happy with the kind of results that we've got here, where it's still, you still look like you're looking at leather seats, um, where there's sort of crease lines, but there isn't like big cracks in there that look like damage. So um, this, is, this is where the skill comes in, isn't it, in refinishing, I think, is assessing, what, looking at it and knowing what you want and how to do. But yeah, this yeah. finish is, is I mean, absolutely it's, it's, fantastic. It's obviously, it depends on what, what you want um, for your car as well. If you're looking for, uh, I mean, personally, I think I think this looks great. It's a yeah. thirty-year-old car. The seats now look like they've been restored, yet they don't look brand new. They yeah. look in keeping with the age of the age of the vehicle, and I think it'll go very, very well. But you know, it's it's entirely up to um, the guys what they want to do, how how you want your seat to look. If you want yeah. to get rid of creases and wrinkles, you can do that as well with the filler. Yeah. Right? So. Okay, dokie. So that is step five: use of the filler prior to painting, and then the final step: recoloring. The final step is recoloring. Um, and that comes in a, a little bottle called the Leather Fresh, which is the key product. Um, obviously, that is the product that is going to be mixed, um, custom made to your car interior based on your chassis number. Um, so, you know, apply it with a sponge. It comes with a sponge, um, and the way to apply it is just take some product on the sponge, wipe it uh, on the surface. So, literally, I'll just show you the action now. You just wipe that down, and then just gently dab over it create a bit of texture, get rid of all the lines and the marks that, you know, the wiping the product creates, um, dry it with a hair dryer or a heat gun and just build up layers. You know, you've got to build up multiple thin layers as opposed to putting on a massive thick layer. That's, that's the worst thing you can do. So you do, work right? in a section like this is what Ram told me. Yeah. So I've had a go on this seat over here. I can take this one little section here, color it just like Ram said, dry that off. Um, I could move on to another section, couldn't I? And then yeah. work on that section, work my way all around the whole seat, section by section, and then go again, and probably perhaps typically three or four layers of, of, of paint. You've got enough paint in here to do, you know, tons more than two seats. You could do an entire car interior and all the side kind of uh, cars, if there's leather pieces and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, we've used hardly any here. We've used hardly any. I mean, that's a 150 ml bottle, but it's just gonna, it's important to remember that, yes, that is good enough to refresh the full interior, but that is refreshing the existing color. So not trying to change it. In fact, that product isn't even suitable for changing color, but as long as you're keeping the same color, you're just looking to refresh it, like what we've done here, 
but you go, you go product, a long way. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of product, and you could. How long does that stay good for, by the way? Uh, a month, as long as it's stored between five to ten degrees Celsius. Okay, so you a month, sorry, a, a year. Sorry, you say a month. A, a month, as we say. No, a year. So you could keep holding yeah, it, basically, absolutely. guys. If you yeah. if you scuff it or damage it or cut it or whatever, then you've got the paint to repair it again. So yeah. that's that's good to know. Um, I will say this, you know, from not having much experience colouring leather, um, once you get to that final stage, if you've done all the preparation right, the colouring of the leather is, is the easy bit, isn't it? It's Probably the most rewarding as well, because yeah. that's when you can see it all coming together and the yeah. way it's going to look. So. Even after one coat, it starts coming back. And then after two or three, when, you, when you're um, drying it, all the paint fades back into the leather and the finish is lovely. Um, it's really rewarding, guys, and I think, especially on an old car, you know, 17-year-old car seats like this, they look absolutely fantastic, yeah. and uh, it's all doable yourself at home. All you have to know is what leather it is. You can contact Colour Lock, tell them about the car. You might even have a colour code for it. If worst-case scenario is you could send them a piece like the headrest if it's a complicated colour and they haven't got a preset for it, and then they can match off of that for you, and then you'll get your Leather Fresh kit, which yeah. costs about 35 quid, something like that. Um, 35 to 40, I, I don't have the price to my head right now, but it's about yeah. in that ballpark. Yeah. And then you can basically recolour your leather yourself, guys. And yeah. it is most definitely doable at home. The, the less damage you have in your leather, the easier it is. If you have holes in there, then you're probably going to need skills to patch those holes up that are beyond what most guys at home have got. It can all be done. You'll be yeah. calling someone like Ram for that, though. Yeah, you? we've had we've had people who fixed holes as well, and you know, obviously your your expectations should be realistic. I think if you're trying to do something yeah. um, um, that extensive, yeah. you know, um, yeah. you, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll no. be an improvement, and that's what you're going to look for, yeah. right? Um, these one were, other point these were ideal, though, weren't they, for uh, re reconditioning? Yeah, yeah, the kit's ideal. There's just one other point that I've just remembered. Obviously, any paint bottles that you get from us. Test in the hidden area first oh, yeah. before you apply, um, you know, uh, everywhere. It's, you know, we, we, we colour match and we've got samples, but, you know, um, just be, you know, it's, it's good yeah. precaution. You could just test it, you do the damp yeah. here, dry it, and when it dries, yeah. it should match. You shouldn't be able to see it, basically. Then you know you've got a good colour match, so that makes sense as well. That's it. In an area you can't see if you, if you, if you want, so that's a great advice. Other than that, guys, you are going to be able to, if you've got worn leather seats, you're going to be, how to get really impressive results and make the interior of your car look good. Another thing I would say, obviously this is as a guy kind of observing it for the first time, getting the seats out of the car makes this 10 times easier, guys. Oh yeah. Getting them out, just having them on a workbench in a shed or something like that, or if, if it's a nice day doing, you do this outside, don't Absolutely. have any problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is touch dry straight away. Um, I mean, we've done this, what, about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago? Yeah. You know, this is, this is all dry now. Um, you know, but I'd, I'd advise, you know, leave it leave it overnight before you sort of sit in there and start using yeah. it or a paint. You could touch it. You could put it back yeah. in the car and then just give it 24 hours before you sit on it. That's but it, it. It's just to let it fully dry, isn't That's it? That's it. Absolutely. Lovely. Okay, Ram. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you for Ram for coming over to do this. This is all Anytime. part of the restoration of no, the club no, sport. No, I love, I love spending time here with uh, John. It's been, it's been, it's been a while years. as well, yeah. so we've spoken on email and phone and WhatsApp and all of that, but it's nice to come see you personally. It yeah. is. So thank you for uh, thank you for having me. Thank you, Ram. Always welcome, my friend. And um, like I say, all of the products that we use today, guys, I'll stick them in the description. Um, and if you've got any questions about this process in general, put them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Ram from Colourlock. Thank you. Bye-bye. Excellent. We're done. Wow. That was nice and easy. Yeah. I'm